If you thought that Brevo was only email marketing, well, you are totally wrong. Brevo can do so much more. It's actually a marketing platform. You can do booking, SMS, WhatsApp, forms, landing pages, and so much more. So let me show you what Brevo can do on this video. What's up everyone? So this is Brevo and it can do way more than just email marketing. Now, on this video, I want to cover the tools that Brevo has except the email marketing part. Now we've all seen a bunch of videos of their email platform and it's fantastic. But what about the other tools that they have? Now, if you go to the products in the link in the description, you'll find the available tools that they have as of this video and they keep adding more and more. Now, on this case, they got SMS and WhatsApp, Wilet, uh, web and mobile push, automations, forms. They got landing pages, sales pipe, Kanban, to-do list, meetings, bookings. They even have a chat system for your site. Now, in this case, I've already implemented here, but I'm going to show you how you can have all of this in the Brevo platform. Now, in this case, this is my Brevo dashboard, and this is the homepage where you're going to get started. This is where you're going to understand that you got some meetings coming up, some plans, some to do things, etc., and all that will be available right here. And you can create campaigns, create tasks and plan meetings straight from the home page. Now, on this case, everything will be tied to the contacts section. So your list, your segments, your campaigns and all that. It's not strictly just for your email marketing service. It will be tied to everything that you use, including your uh, Facebook chats, your chat on the website, your calls that you're having and everything will be tied to your contacts here, right? Now, the idea is to take full advantage of Brevo and all the tools that they provide. Now, in this case, let's go into campaigns where we're going to get started. Now, in this case, we can get started with a template, which is super easy to do here. So if you go ahead and create a template, you have several available options. you got your email template, which would be your traditional Brevo system template. But there's also the WhatsApp template. So if you connect your WhatsApp system, you can start off a template right here for your campaigns where you can send off your notifications, your sales, your promotions, etc. from here. And I'll just say this is new, the template style. In this case, it's marketing. Choose the language. In this case, it will be English. Let's go ahead and start. And in this section, I'll be able to start off my kickoff message for my WhatsApp. Now, in this case, I can start off with, for example, hi, and then this is a promo, etc. You can add a button to this for quick replies. You can add a call to action. You can see how it displays here on the right. So if I add a button, here's my first button and it could be a marketing opt out or a custom section here. Now, in this case, I'll leave marketing opt out, which would be a fantastic idea to provide them the option to opt out, right? You can also add media to this. And once you're good to go, go ahead and save this and you will need approval from the meta company before you actually get approved to send out messages with that template. Okay. So do be aware of that. All right. Now, one of my favorite tools on Brevo is the conversations. Why is this? Because I can connect multiple social media channels into one section and take care of them all from here. What I mean by this, if I go to settings and if I go to my connections, I can connect my WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook account, my email, even my chat widget, which is what I have on my website. And I can kick it off by sending out this right here to get started. And I can enable form like I've done right here before I actually chat with someone. So here I'm sending off hello, and then I get a notification on Breville so I can start off my conversation. Now, the idea is to connect your available channels into Breville and start chatting with them. So if you want to use the chat widget, go ahead and set it up right here, connect it to your site, and you'll be good to go. You got your email settings, your Facebook connection, Instagram, WhatsApp. Then you go to preferences and you can enable your languages if you want to view the, your visitors IP. And that's up to you if you want to enable that or not. Visitors location, which I think is a good idea, especially if you have an international site where you want to know where they are talking from. I'm getting the notification there to take care of that chat. So we'll do that in a bit. You got your safe replies if you want to keep something to reply super easily, especially with repetitive questions. You have something that you're going to be able to respond really quickly. Your integrations with Rebel Tracker, Webhook. Webhook will open a whole new possibility to, to your connections. Targeted chat triggers, contact form, and you can enable this to fill out the form before you actually start chatting with someone, which could save you time. So if you enable this, you're asking for the name, the last name, and email before you actually get started. And it's a good idea because you capture those details, but it's up to you if you want to enable that or not your chatbot scenarios. You want to enable some scenarios here for automation, which will trigger the agents, groups, chat profiles and the availability for that. Right now, let's go to our conversation that we have right now. And here it is. We are talking with Jorge Aguilar, which is me. Here's the details with my name, my last name and email. 
and that is automatically loaded into the right with the details here which i can also modify here so if i'm talking to this person and i figure out that the name is wrong i can go ahead and update it here and just continue the conversation as i would normally have a phone number add some notes here which is only visible to me so maybe um, this client is mad maybe this client is at to a point where we might need to refund just add your notes right here and where you found this is who sign the time on site six minutes and you get some details here that will give you a better understanding of the person that you're talking with and you'll have all your conversations here ready to go you can go ahead and close the conversation ban the visitors so they can't con conversate with you anymore delete the conversation and if you want to assign this to an agent in your team so it's really customizable and it's really great that we we're going to have all the available conversations here from your social media accounts into one single section to save you a ton of time now this is one of my favorite features here but there's more to do here on brevo there's also the deals section so that means that i have a kanban view to view my leads in this case which is what i created here and i can change this if i want now in this case i, I use this for leads and i have the option to use these columns right here for new qualifying a demo scheduled i can go just go ahead and drag and drop this and the amount that was assigned to that potential lead is already updated here in the total amount and i'll be able to view the total amount in each one of the sections that i have the process going on here now i can view this in list mode i can go to cards back to cards and i can create a brand new deal here so let's just say that i have the details here set the amount there um, is this going to be a to do a meeting an email etc go ahead and set that up here and create it and that'll be added right here to the section that you designate to it now if you need to create a new view you can go ahead and add it here and create it and just name it for example new two and you'll have a new tab with the new view right here which could be useful depending on your use case right now you can view task that you have here and you can create task so you have the option to do this really easily here on brevo you got your reports so if the money is coming in the revenue the sell cycle the team report etc and the settings for the deals section so my notifications collaborations pipeline settings deal attributes and deal currency if you want to change that right now it's in pesos because i'm in mexico but you can change it from here then you got your booking system so if you want to have your booking system right here you can start off really easily so right now i already have an intro with a video call of 15 minutes I just go ahead and copy this link open it up and someone can book a meeting with me with the designated time frames that i selected all right so in this case monday through friday if i select the 23rd here's the available times that i'm available go ahead and continue with the process and i can go through the booking system right here straight from brevo and you can actually charge money from here too so let's just say that you want to create a brand new meeting type it could be a one host or with a one routing host in this case i'll do it with one host set the meeting name and i'll just say new video call with brevo soon whatever you have connected here and i'll do brevo description i'll just say test the amount safe meeting type and i have a brand new meeting type that i can add here now i have a booking page and i have a meeting section so if i know what type of meeting someone needs i just send off the, the direct link if not i send a general link and they can select what type of meeting they want now if i need to view the planned meetings they'll be available right here so everything that's been upcoming past and canceled will be available here and i can also add a meeting here manually if i need to my page editor for the meeting page so you got your designated uh, details here for adding a logo if i have an icon choose etc all from here the availability here so if you want to change the dates that you are available that will be available here and the general settings for this section for the meeting section so meeting reminders the data policy the payments so if you want to charge for some of the type of meetings you can enable it right here and video call too so you have options to use Brevo video or use Zoom or Google Meet if you connect to those systems. Now, the next tool I want to show you is calls. Calls. You can have a phone number straight inside of here in Brevo where you can actually make calls, receive calls, and keep track of everything that you need for those calls. So, for example, I can go ahead and open up my phone number. Here we go. And I can type in the phone number and call someone right now. I have a designated phone that I can start using here in Brevo and start using it right away. Now I can manage my users. I can view my recent calls. In this case, I made a call right here and I can listen to that call that I just made. So that is recorded or I can call that phone again. So if I want to do that there, let's go ahead and set that up and make a call. There we go. And it's going to start off the call. Thank you for calling everyone. Just like that. That is super useful here on Brevo. 
having a phone number that you can start using right now is fantastic. Now there's a mobile app and a desktop app. So you don't have to stick to the desktop version here on the browser in case you want to have more of a uh, hands-on access to the phone number here on Brevo, get the app and you'll be able to use your phone number from there. So it's a fantastic option there. Now, once you're good with all of that, you have your campaigns and automations. So in this case, if I go to campaigns, we'll go ahead and create a campaign and you don't have to strictly stick to email. You can use SMS, WhatsApp, or web push notifications. So you can automate right now your process for the campaigns using these available tools right here that doesn't have to strictly be email. And then for automations, you also have several options available. So if you want to create an automation, you can do an automation, especially if you connect to your website, it's a fantastic option. So if you have a customer with an abandoned cart, you can kick this off. If you have a product purchase, a welcome message, a marketing activity, anniversary date, etc., you can kick off the automation and create it super easily here on Brabo. And you also have your e-commerce details here for your products, revenue, retention details that will be super useful when you kick off your e-commerce store. So Brabo is a fantastic tool that you can start using right now that's a marketing platform from where you're going to take care of your automations your campaigns your leads you're going to be able to nurture your leads talk to your leads and do so much more here on brevo so definitely check it out link provided in the description sign up right now they do have a replan so start using it right away and that's a wrap